Peter Donnelly and I were talking about stuff that affects the world um, from the skeleton around us, the exoskeleton, I think, that's now the outside world that we see isn't actually the world that used to be about 20 years ago. The outside world is often the things we you, you send by electronic signals. It's not who you are in person, it's what your persona is and what's underneath can sometimes be different than what's on the outside. Anyway, that's one element of the world we've been talking about over the last four hours. Um, Peter, your impressions of Tipperary where we're seated or the bigger world that we kind of see when we look at each other online or look at stuff that flies through our thought space. Yeah, uh, it's, it's interesting because essentially in, in Ireland, I think the, the conversation is always, I may get to know you via a Twitter or a something, but essentially I can pin it back to, sorry, the phone is buzzing, uh, I'm around at the moment. Um, essentially it comes back to who you know uh, and guaranteed I will know somebody who knows somebody who knows Bernie, which actually turned out to be the case, but we found out about probably about a year and a half after first getting to know each other. Which is good to start phone ticking. Technology. Yeah, it's just no, it's not affecting it. It's funny we've got devices all around. It's just we're in this place called Meet Space. But theoretically, we're as close as you can get without kind of embracing each other on a little video that's being recorded on a handset. But there's two other handsets that are making noises that take us out of the Meet Space and other things. So okay. no, we're no, good to go. But 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 back to it in short, where I am staying at this moment in time. So what I do is horticulture. For those of you who don't know me, at Donegan Gardens on Twitter and DonaganLandscape.com will find you everything that I am. Mm -hmm. But but it's the place where I'm staying is the Apple Farm. It's an orchard not too far away from here, uh, owned and run by a gentleman by the name of Cornelius Trass. His uh, parents are, are originally Dutch, if you're wondering on the names. And within the middle of this orchard is a campsite that is a little piece of genius. It's an absolute little touch of genius. However, uh, most people would not be entirely aware of it. I don't think you were entirely well, aware of it. Well, we passed it before. Have you ever been in it? No, no, we passed it before. We've heard of its uh, legacy, its, its street cred. So but no, we haven't. Okay, so it's about, it's about five miles away from where we are sitting mm -hmm. at this moment in time geographically, and I live in Dublin. So this reminds me of the American hitchhikers that I picked up when I was about 20, and I was coming home from Athlone mm -hmm. uh, with my good lady friend at the time. And the two American hitchhikers were saying, oh, have you been here? Have you been to the Giant's Causeway? Have you been to Galway? Have you been to the Cliffs of Moore? And we were going, no, 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 no. We got highly embarrassed by it or slightly embarrassed mm. because we actually had been nowhere in Ireland and we'd lived there in that country or in this country for 20 years. Uh, so that's where I am staying. Tipperary, uh, I would have gone to college in Kiltown, in County Kilkenny, which yeah. is bordering Carrick and Shure. And the River Shure is a, I suppose, a river that you would know extremely well that runs all the way up through to Clonmel, uh, up by Sherrings, up by where Bulmers is made and comes all the way straight up to literally where we are at this moment in mm. time or near enough to it. So uh, the southeast of Ireland always was a, a little piece of heaven, but, but as always with little pieces of heaven or little pieces of Ireland, it, it's, you kind of have to know somebody who knows somebody to know which mm. are the best places to go to. Mm. And the dilemma sometimes in my head is, should I actually note these places online and put it on the map? Or, or just yeah. leave it, leave it untouched. No, I think, I think, um, I mean, I'm one of at least several hundred people. I'd say, Peter, be interested in knowing that thought compressed to maybe two sentences, share with an image that you snap on something like Instagram. It's worthwhile for me. It's, it's something I reflect upon, and uh, I'm hopefully we'll connect again. Maybe in this session, this kind of a session, we're in a creative animation studio in the Limerick School of Art and Design in Clonmel, or in other place, but bigger than you in, in Dublin. So we're recording this on the small phone. I'm yeah. Top Gold with social networks. This is Peter. He's Donegan Gardens on Twitter, and yep. DonaganLandscaping.com on the big World Wide Web, right? Bye for now. Oh, good.